Well, good morning, everybody out there in YouTube land. I am just about to head home from my coffee here at Einstein's. I think last time I accidentally said a lake, which is right next door. And I do have breakfast over there quite often. But today, doing a little work on my... Uh, computer it's actually pretty nice today it's about 64 degrees it's pretty windy uh, we've got a uh, cold front i don't know if it's a cold front it's going to get colder but it's some sort of system moving up from the south from the gulf you'll notice i don't have my typical why is my bike not starting there we go I don't have my typical yellow high-vis jacket on today. I am testing out a new riding jacket. I don't want to do a spoiler yet because I am going to actually do a review on this jacket uh, here shortly and, an, and, and, and another piece of gear or, or piece of riding gear I should say. So I don't want to give it all away. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome to Cruise Man's Garage Motor Vlogs. And we uh, welcome all of you. If you love motorcycling, if you're passionate about it, uh, please join us uh, by clicking the subscribe button and that little notification bell. And YouTube will let you know when I come out with new videos. A couple things important to talk about today. The first one being the recent review I did of the Fantic X8 Apex. I have to make sure I say the right one because I also reviewed a T8 Apex. But that was a jump starter. But the X8 Apex is the tire inflator, and uh, that video has had a huge response. There was a lot of, I suspected there would be a lot of interest in that product. However, I do want to comment on a couple of things. I am going to ask them today, I'm going to go back and send an email and ask them how long the battery pack will retain a charge. Um, I know on the the jump starter, it was either a year or two years it would actually hold its charge, enough to jump start a car. So I will check to see what that what the life is of the charge on this uh, X8 Apex. So some of you have asked that. The other thing I want to remind you is that what I'm going to do being the clever individual that I am, I'm going to use the USB cable in the left saddlebag and I'm just going to run a cable to mine so it'll always be charging. Anytime the bike is running it will be keeping that uh, tire inflator fully charged so that I don't have to be concerned about it. Uh, I should have gone but I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> And of course, I'm leaving at 7.30 in the morning, which is the middle of traffic. I'll just go right, and I'll go up here and make a U-turn. So, I'm pretty excited about having that uh, X8 Apex. Uh, and I'll just keep it in my left saddlebag and keep it charged up so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, it does fit in my left saddlebag and I also keep my jump starter in the left saddlebag and I also keep a, uh, like warm weather gloves or cold weather gloves in there when it's warm enough to wear these gloves and then I keep these gloves in there obviously when it's cold. I also have a jacket liner, a waterproof jacket liner rolled up uh, in there that I keep in there and some tools. And I still have a little extra room for something else if I need to keep something else in there, but that I always keep in my left saddlebag. So I am kind of prepared. 
the right saddlebag I kind of leave for anything I'm packing on a road trip or any like if I go grocery shopping I'll put in the right saddlebag or in the trunk and that's just kind of the way I do it now one question I somebody brought this up the other day and I never talked about it and I'm going to talk about how you get on the Goldwing how you mount the bike this is an interesting kind of an interesting question because I just kind of throw my leg over the seat to get on the bike and uh, and I guess if you're tall enough that's an option but some people I know and Don uh, Smith is one of them, my friend Don, when he had his 2018 Goldwing, I would watch him get on the bike, and he would actually step onto the uh, foot peg with his, gosh, I guess he did it with his left foot, and then he stepped up on that and threw his leg over the bike. Well, somebody asked me the question the other day, is there any danger of the side stand breaking under that weight and I you know I've never never gave that any thought uh, I don't think there is I, I, I suppose it would depend on how much you weigh and if you were to um, you know how you stepped up on it you know if you jumped up on it I guess anything's possible I guess it could break uh, has anybody ever had that happen? Have you ever heard of a side stand breaking when somebody tried to mount the bike by stepping on the uh, on the rider foot peg? I'd be curious, real curious to know, and I'd appreciate it if you'd put that in the comments below because I know there's other people out there that would really like to know the answer to that. And how many of you mount the bike by first stepping on the rider foot peg? Uh, one thing I want to talk about is I was sitting there today at Einstein's having coffee. Now, I've talked about this before, why I go to Einstein's. The main reason I go to Einstein's is because they open early. They open at 5 o'clock in the morning. A lot of times I'm up really early because I can't sleep. And I go there for coffee. Their coffee is okay. It's not great. It's not as good as it used to be. It used to be much, much better. Uh, back when it was their coffee but then about three years ago they merged or they were bought out by caribou coffee and then they started using caribou's coffee in all their Einstein stores and the caribou coffee just is not as good in my opinion as what it was before but that's another story uh, it's still convenient because they're open early but there's a problem I'm trying to get work done and I'm using my laptop and they do have free Wi-Fi but the Wi-Fi is terrible and it just seems to be getting worse and I may just have to find another place to go in the morning for coffee now I showed you awake right next door and they also have free Wi-Fi and of course when I go there but I usually only get there once or twice because they open late. They don't open until 7 o'clock. And that's just too late for me. I'm usually, like now, it's 7.30. I'm already on my way home. So if they opened at 6, it'd be perfect. I'd just go there, use their Wi-Fi, and life would be wonderful. But they don't. They open at 7. So I may have to start and they do have good Wi-Fi their Wi-Fi at awake is excellent it's very fast very good very reliable but Einstein's is not reliable and it's not fast and in fact today I wasn't able to get hardly anything done uh, I can't watch YouTube videos I can't you know it's just it's just a pain in the butt so I am on the hunt for a new Wi-Fi enabled coffee house now I just crossed some railroad tracks I'll try to slow the video down and show those to you again there's another set of railroad tracks up here and I ride this route every time I go home from breakfast or go you know to from breakfast or coffee every morning and the next set of railroad tracks is coming up and I want you to pay attention to the little apron 
in front. They have recently repaired the concrete. I think they put down asphalt. And it used to be really bad. I used to get a lot of... Uh, in fact, it would almost bottom out the suspension. It was so bad. But as you can see where it's dark here, where they've laid down to some asphalt, now it's just beautifully smooth. And that was it. I just went over right there. But what's interesting is, I remember riding by the day they started the construct, or they started the repair on that part of the road. And I swear they were only there one day. Other times they're doing repair work, it takes them weeks to get done. But for some reason, and maybe it's done by the Railroad Commission, maybe it's done by a different department, I don't know what, what it is, they got that, both of those railroad track aprons repaired and smoothed out in one day. I was stunned because I came the next morning and it was already repaired. It was great. So anyway, it is super windy today as you can probably hear. I do have my face mask closed to try to keep the wind noise down. And I'm excited to get home. I'm editing a new video, another product that I've been holding off on because of the supply chain issues. They have told me that the product will be in back in stock, ready to ship by the end of this month. So I've still got about 10 days if I need the time. And appreciate you guys joining me today. I, I want to thank all of you also that purchased my Cruise Man's Garage maintenance videos. Uh, for the Goldwing uh, It helps support this channel uh, Hopefully you find value in it. Thank you for uh, Purchasing and using those videos If you have any questions about those maintenance videos put it in the comments down below. I'll try to get them answered for you. I Have two sets of videos. I have one set of videos for the 2001 to 2017 Goldwing. I believe there's 35 videos in that series and then I have another series for the 2018 to 2022 Goldwing and in that set we have 73 videos I believe we're up to 73 I just added a new one about two weeks ago so thank you for those of you who have purchased those maintenance videos it, it does help does help support this channel and one other last thing, you know, the, a couple weeks ago I posted a video with a thumbnail, and in the thumbnail, all I said was, I quit. And that video got a ton of views. Now, I was referring to the possibility of shutting down my cruise review website and YouTube channel because of some issues I had with Facebook. But what's interesting is I got a lot of comments from people who apparently never watched the video and they thought I was going to quit Cruise Man's Garage. They just saw the I Quit thumbnail. Uh, you know, and some people, I'm sure, consider that clickbait. And it is. You know, it is clickbait. I, you know, you come up with thumbnails because you want people to watch your video. But I got a lot of comments from people who never even watched the video. But what's interesting is that it proves one thing. There's a lot of people out there that must be waiting for me to quit. I'm sorry, but for those of you who follow this channel and my motive logs and my uh, Cruise Man's Garage review videos and maintenance videos and tips videos and motive logs sorry you're stuck with me for a little longer i'm not ready to quit just yet so anyway thanks again for joining me today don't forget if you like this video give it a thumbs up that really makes a huge difference in our youtube rankings and i consider it a personal favor and you know what i'm just gonna have to See you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.